So I'm going to show you a tip that you're not going to see anywhere else from anybody. Um, it is an important little trick on cleaning your light box before you clean your sensor. Now I have locked the mirror up on this Nikon D700. Now I have cleaned my hands beforehand as I've shown you in the other videos in this series on cleaning your Nikon sensor. Um, now, all the blowing in the world from your air blower is not going to remove the dust and the lint that is gathered around the felt lining, the anti-reflective felt lining that is at the base before the autofocus sensors towards the back of your DSLR sensor and also on either side wall. So what I've done, now you have to be extremely careful you need to be sitting in a chair while you're doing this and if you got shaky hands I warn you not to do this okay now I'm going to use a metal instrument because I have steady hands but I would warn you that you should either use a plastic implement or not to do this at all if you don't feel that you have the skills to do it now what I've done is I've taken a uh, titanium spatula like this it's not sharp and what I've done is I have used a scotch transparent tape it does not leave a sticky residue you can't use duct tape you can't use uh, masking tape although you could use masking tape it doesn't work that well it leaves behind paper particles but this does not so I've cleaned all of this and rubbed it down including my hands with rubbing alcohol beforehand then I've wrapped a little piece of tape with a sticky side out and what I'm going to do is remove the dust from the inside of my light box chamber on my Nikon and I can do this safely because I've done it many times before but if you don't feel skilled enough to do it don't do it as I said all the air blowing in the world will not remove that it's just like fur like lint stuck in dog's fur okay so I'm going to show you what I'm doing now that I've got the uh, mirror locked up I'm going to go in here now I've gone beforehand before making this video and removed most of it because this camera is a little dirty. And I'm just basically tiptoeing through the tulips. I'm talking out of the corner of my mouth because I do not want to talk towards the sensor because right now the sensor is exposed. So if I'm talking funny, that's the reason for that. Okay? That's why I'm talking out of the corner of my mouth. You do not dare get anything on the sensor other than the swab that I'm going to show you in the next video. But you see how I'm very delicately tapping the tape and I'm removing all these little fuzzies. Do not touch the mirror that is locked up, do not touch the sensor, and do not touch the autofocus sensor bay at the back, which is near the sensor, okay? Now there's another wall over here, okay? And I've got a bunch of lint and I'm going to remove it right here, okay? You may have to repeat this step. I just got a big one. I'm talking away from the camera. I just got a big one. You might have to repeat this step a few times with the tape, okay? And I warn you, you have to be careful. All I'm doing is using the sticky tape, which does not leave a residue, to remove these little errant hairs be careful, I am not going near the autofocus sensor bay back here or touching the sensor. Now, I removed this before making this video, and trust me, there was a lot of lint and fuzz in here. A lot. Now I'm near the sensor, I'm being very, very, very careful. I removed a ton of this stuff already. Okay very 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 lightly tiptoeing across the felt which lines the sides the bottom and the other side I've done an excellent job and this is a really neat trick that you're not going to see anywhere else and it's very very effective okay now I've done that now I'm going to close my sensor drop my mirror see there you can't see it, but I removed most of it ahead of time, okay? You might have to do that little trick two or three times. You don't feel safe, don't do it. But that felt lining, the fuzz that's attached there, will not be removed by this blower no matter how hard you blow, okay? And remember, never stick the nozzle of your blower past, okay? Never stick it past 
the mounting ring okay on your camera so don't go sticking the blower deeper and deeper into your camera do not do that remember that the reflex mirror is not like the mirror in your bathroom incredibly incredibly sensitive how sensitive if I were just to pull out the thin hairs off the tip of this q-tip and I did not have hand oil on it and just use the very slightest slightest pressure it will scratch the mirror that's how sensitive it is okay your mirror does not affect anything regarding your picture. The only thing that it affects is the image seen through your pentaprism into the back of your viewfinder. Never touch it, okay? The only thing you want to do is turn your camera upside down, blow off any excess, like that. My mirror is very, very clean. This camera's got over 110,000 clicks on it. Normally right now I would put the body cap back on it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you another video here in a second. Okay? Before doing any of this, as every video in this series, clean your hands beforehand. Okay? Clean them beforehand. I use rubbing alcohol to make sure that there's absolutely nothing that's going to come off on my hands. You just It's like you're in an operating room, okay? Just consider it that way. You don't need to wear a mask. But you also, you know, you normally would not be talking, obviously, while your, uh, your shutter and your mirror are up, of course. So that's why I was talking out of the corner of my mouth. So there is a little trick on removing that fuzz that lines the felt part of the bottom and either side of your light box. Okay? So, but you have to be very, very careful. And I warn you about this. If you don't have steady hands, don't do it. Thanks for watching.